this video I'm going to be playing the Trinity Grade 5 Rudimental Study Number 1 and I'm going to be wittering on about all the different rudiments that you need to learn once you get beyond beginner level. Welcome to Beginner Drums. Right, before I start, Beginner Drums is not about playing Grade 5 level tunes. Beginner Drums is all about getting you up to around Grade 3 level, but a few people have been asking what happens when you get beyond Grade 3, so I thought I'd record a few of the Grade 5 tunes so you can have a listen. Now, as with all of the Trinity Grades, you have to perform a solo rudimental study, an accompanied Group A tune and a solo Group B tune. On Grade 5 there are two rudimental studies and you have to perform both of them. Grades 4 and 5 introduce a lot of new rudiments. In fact, it's the biggest learning curve out of any of the grades in my opinion. So here's a quick recap of all of the rudiments across all of the grades. So Grade 1 starts you off on single strokes, double strokes and single paradiddles. Grade 2 brings in the flam, the drag and the four stroke rough. Grade 3 rounds off the beginner grades with the 5, 7 and 9 stroke rolls. Grade 4 then introduces the flam tap, the flam accent, the flam cue, the flam paradiddle, the double paradiddle and the paradiddle diddle. Grade 5 brings in the dragon stroke, the double dragon stroke, the drag paradiddle, the single ratama cue, the double ratama cue and the triple ratama cue. Grade 6 then introduces the triple paradiddle and the reverse paradiddle. And finally, Grade 7 introduces the Pata Fla Fla, the Swiss Army Triplet and the Inward Paradiddle. There are no new rudiments in Grade 8. So at Grade 4 and Grade 5, there are more new rudiments introduced in a single grade than Grade 6, 7 and 8 combined. So my point here is that getting to Grade 3 level isn't a walk in the park. You need to put in a lot of hard work to confidently learn the initial batch of 9 rudiments. But if you do it well and you get a good mark for your Grade 3 exam, you will be a decent drummer. As you go beyond that, Grades 4 and 5 are where the bulk of the rudiments come in. And I think Trinity are making the assumption that once you're at Grade 3 level, you're an accomplished enough drummer that learning 12 rudiments across two grades shouldn't be too hard if you put the effort in. Having said that, all of the Grade 5 pieces are great fun to play and that's why I thought I would record some of them for you. One final point and then I promise I'll play some drums. I don't normally use my full drum kit setup when teaching grades because it's not representative of what you get in the exam. In the exam you're going to get maximum one, maybe two crash symbols depending on the grades that you, you're doing. So when teaching on the main beginner drum site you'll notice that I use a, a reduced setup and that's why because if you have this full setup that you practice on that's not what you're going to get in the exam. So it's much more representative to use a smaller kit but for this quick demo of these grades I don't think there's any harm in showing you on the full kit. Yeah okay I'll shut up and play something. 